I've used fruit rubs in videos many times before on ribs, on pork butt. Today, I'm gonna focus on how I make a fruit rub. Now, fruit rubs generally, in my opinion, go best with pork, you know, pork butt, pork loin, pork ribs. I have used them on other things, but there's just something about that inherent sweetness that goes really well with pork. And the basis for any fruit rub is the fruit. And really the way that I like to get that fruit into the rub is by using a freeze-dried fruit. Today, I'm gonna to be using one and a half ounces of a freeze-dried mango. Now, it's important to remember, these aren't just dried fruit. Dried fruit that you get sometimes still has that moisture in there. And when you try and grind it up and get it into more of that granular stage, it can get tacky and sticky. And we want to avoid that. So freeze dried works really well. So I've got my little tiny Ninja Food processor out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these mango pieces in there. And you can see they're just the little sort of dried chips. And we're gonna pulse this until it's fully broken down. It can turn into a powder pretty quickly, so you wanna watch that. You want it powdery, but if you can avoid it just being a cloud of powder, try and do that. Let's see how we're looking. Still a few too many large granules, so I wanna break this down a little bit more. That's looking better, I can live with that. Let's move on to our other ingredients. So that powdered mango that we made, I'm gonna be using what I'm calling a mango chili rub. And we're gonna start with half a cup of brown sugar. Now you may be wondering, why didn't I just put the ingredients in the little food processor with the powdered mango? If you run brown sugar through there, it has a nice granular texture as it is. I don't wanna break this down anymore. So we've got a really powdery kind of one with the mango. I don't wanna break this down into any more sort of finer crystals. I want them a little bit more like this, granular. So to our brown sugar, we're gonna add our mango. Remember, this was an ounce and a half of freeze-dried mango. We're gonna add a teaspoon of kosher salt, teaspoon of cracked black pepper. It's pretty finely cracked pepper, not quite down to fully ground, but pretty close. And one teaspoon of chili powder. I'm using a dark California chili powder. You can find these in the grocery store. It's kind of a blend. It's, it's just got a very dark, rich color. You'll sometimes see it labeled as a California chili molido. I don't even know what that means, but that's what this is. Before I get the lid on and give this a good shake, I just wanna stir it up a bit. And if there's any of those big lumps of brown sugar that sort of clump together, just break them up with a spoon or get in there with your hand and crush them. Now, I don't make these fruit rubs ahead of time to store. I make them the day I'm gonna use them or the day before, keep them tightly sealed in a container because that freeze-dried powdery fruit is gonna absorb moisture. So if there's moisture around, it's gonna absorb it. And then it's just gonna become clumpy. So you wanna use it quickly. All right, let's get our lid on and shake. And if there's any of those clumps of brown sugar, still get in there and break them up. It's really not that big a deal with brown sugar if you do get some of those clumps when you're gonna use it right away because when you put it on the surface of the, say, pork butt or ribs, that moisture is gonna grab onto that and it's gonna to start to dissolve, which is what you want. Let's get a little taste of this and see how it is. Mmm. That mango's right up front with the little bite of the chili pepper. It's not super hot. If you want this hotter, add more chili powder. And really the basics of these rubs are, you can use any kind of fruit you want, change up the ingredients any way you would like, less salt, more salt, more black pepper, add paprika, add garlic powder. Although I tend to find that the garlic powder doesn't work as well when you have these super sweet fruits like mango and things like that. I've used garlic powder before when I'm doing something with like a sort of a tart apple and that works okay. But generally I like to not put too much garlic in the fruit rubs. There we go, there's our rub. This will go perfect on pork ribs like I said, pork butt, pork loins, pork tenderloin, pork chops. For me, it's a very pork specific. I have used this on chicken and it's really good, but I think it really shines with pork. So if you're wanting to incorporate fruit into your rubs, 
It gives great flavor, super easy to do using freeze-dried fruit. Pulverize it, add it like any other ingredient, and it's gonna be a great addition to especially pork dishes. But if you're adventurous, try it on some other things too.